So we're out here this afternoon. I'm going to try to harvest some okra. We didn't get rain for the longest time, and the okra was not doing well. I mean, it was producing, but not a lot. And then we got some rain, and this is the, what two days of rain can make. Now, that okra is too big. It's going to be tough and woody. Um, I'll probably let the rest of these just dry on the plant for seed for next year. But typically, I like to get them when they're no bigger than this, so they're still tender. But they were that big two days ago. And then that rain just made everything explode. So I'm going to leave these really big ones and just let them dry and let them be seeds for next year. And try to find the rest of these that are young, smaller ones that are good and tender. We made some last night. Um some fried okra for dinner and it was so good but if you let them get big they just get tough and then they're not any good this is my my roux harvesting apron i love because it lets both my hands be free i don't have to hold a basket or go back and forth to a basket i can just put everything in that one that one feels like it might still be okay it's getting a little on the big side but it might still be all right Usually I can kind of feel them and feel if they feel like they're going to be too tough. I've had a good, pretty good harvest of corn already, but because of the drought, a lot of the corn did not get very big. This is one. You can see the silks have turned brown, so it's done. It's as big as it's going to get. And the corn inside looks pretty good. You can see where it didn't fully develop all the way to the end, and it's just a really small ear. Um, I mean, it's still good. It's still got some plump kernels in there. It'll still be good eating. We just didn't get a lot of big corn this year just because it's so dry. But we'll take what we can get. And now I've noticed that the the squirrels are starting to get some of it that's drying out. And um, it's not looking so great. And that's all right. We'll just let them have it. I'm going to pull these out probably in the next couple of days. And... Um, Put some bush beans in and see if we can get a good crop of bush beans before the fall. But there might still be a couple of ears of corn in here. But just they're just little, just from the heat. Yeah, this one didn't looks like it didn't get pollinated very well. And they don't produce all the way to the top. It's usually poor pollination. Yeah. See, that one's not pollinated. Didn't produce very well. That'll be one we'll give to the chickens. But as you can see, my cucumber vines have had a lot of pest damage and the heat has just been awful. Cucumbers do not like extreme heat. There's still a couple on here. I'm a ton before it got so unbearably hot. But there's a few still that we'll collect and Take in if they don't taste good, they're too bitter, then we give them to the animals. The rabbits like them even if they don't taste good to us. I think that. So while I'm out here in the garden, I'm going to go ahead and look for some banana peppers. These are sweet banana peppers. Some of them are still pretty small, so I'm going to give them a little bit, another day or two. But when they get about this size, I go ahead and pick them. See what else I got in here. I think because of the heat, some of the peppers are producing slow. Because normally I would have been just covered up in peppers by now. We're still getting some, but not as many as we normally would. These are shishitos. I was trying to wait for them to turn red. I might have to pick some of them before. Oh, there's a red one down there. You can pick you can pick shishitos red or green. They're not hot, so it don't matter either way. This plant got ate up by a caterpillar to nothing, but it's coming back. I just babied it a little bit and it's trying to come back. Now these over here are spicy peppers. Everything on this side is hot peppers. So I don't think I have any hot banana peppers ready to pick right this minute. But then we've got some good size jalapenos. I'll let some of these turn red, but some of them I'm going to go ahead and pick green. This one I need to stake up. 
can see how big these jalapenos are. And I got over here. Um, I can't remember what these are. I think they're habaneros. And then I've got some cayenne peppers over here. Starting to turn red. I'm going to let all these turn red so we can make homemade hot sauce. Then over here, I've got some poblanos. You see that poblano right there? Then i got some hot Thai peppers. I'm not going to put them in the um, roux because I'm afraid they'll all just fall out the bottom. And then these are Cuban bell peppers. Some of these are getting about ready. Look how pretty that one is. A pretty orange color and these are all my cow peas I let them stay on the vine until they dry when they get about to dry like this and then you just crack them open and you got dry beans in there you get enough of them and then when you're ready to eat them you overnight and then cook them up with some ham or bacon they're so good some of these that are ready walk through the tomatoes and just see if we have some tomatoes to pick I like to pick them when they're blushing don't let them get completely red because then they're more easy to get pest stress and damage or get overripe or start splitting so i just pick them when they're just got a good blush on them Let's see what we got over here. These are some of our paste tomatoes. Looking good. They got a good blush on them. Not too ripe. That one still ripening in the house. And these are pretty. I'm just gonna walk through here and see what else we got that we is ready to pick. cherry tomatoes and paste tomatoes and then this is a little bit of everything else with the root everything is in a pouch so you just unhook these little straps and then you can just dump everything out it's got little storage pockets for your snips and stuff got a couple more ears of corn more peppers some more okra, some cucumbers, a couple of pies of some cow peas. There's more out there, I just didn't get them yet. But yeah, so that's how that works. You just open the bottom, everything falls out, and then you just put it back around. And then make your little pouch again to harvest some more. Out, and there you go. And that's how that works.